In this video, I will show you some great tips and tricks on how to hang a tapestry. Now, when your tapestry arrives, check that you have all the parts. The tapestry is usually folded when it leaves the mill, so you will need to unfold it in order to take some measurements which we will need later. If you have ordered a rod, then check to make sure that you have received the rod, the finials, and a set of brackets and mounting hardware. Now that you have checked you have all the parts, let's have a look at how to position the tapestry on the wall. If you are hanging a tapestry on a wall without items of furniture or objects above or below the tapestry, consider hanging it so that the centre of the tapestry is at your eye level. This is a great tip used by interior designers and by art galleries and is considered good design and looks natural. If the two main people in the home are of quite different heights, consider using the average of the two eye levels. If you do have furniture or other objects above or below the tapestry, then of course position the tapestry so that there is enough space between the tapestry and the object above or below. Hold the tapestry in the desired position on the wall and measure and note down the distance from the ceiling or cornice to the top of the tapestry. If you have inserted the rod in the pocket of the tapestry to make it easier to hold it in place, take care not to mark the wall with the rod. Also, mark in pencil on the wall each edge of the tapestry near the top of the tapestry. Now you will need two other measurements. You will need to measure the distance from where the top of the tapestry will be when the rod and brackets are in place to the upper screw hole on the bracket and note this down. In this case, the top of the rod and tapestry is at the point here, and the upper screw hole is here. Remember, the screw will be in the narrower part of the keyhole shaped hole once attached to the wall. Next, lay the tapestry flat face side down and work out where the brackets need to be placed so that they are not visible from the front and are also not overlapping the rod pocket. Measure the distance between the edge of the tapestry and the centre of the brackets and note this down. Now, let's mark the positions on the wall where the upper screw holes of the brackets will go. Using the edge marks on the wall as a guide, mark the point on the wall which is the distance from the ceiling or the cornice down to the top of the tapestry plus the distance from the top of the tapestry to the upper screw hole and in by the distance from the edge of the tapestry to where the center of the bracket will be. Do this on both sides. Next, Drill the two holes in the wall for the upper screw holes of the brackets. Make sure you are using the appropriate protective safety equipment. The diameter of the shank of the drill bit you use should be the same diameter as the plastic wall plugs. Remember to use the correct type of drill bit and wall plugs or anchors for your type of wall. For this example, we are using the provided plastic wall plugs for concrete, masonry or brick walls. Place the plastic plugs into the drill holes then gently hammer the plugs in. Now screw in the screw, leaving it protruding enough to place the bracket over it. Place the bracket into position. Now you will need a second screw for each bracket. Mark with a pencil the position of the lower screw hole, move the bracket out of the way, then drill the hole. As before, place the plastic plug in the hole, gently hammer it in, Position the bracket into place and screw in the screw. Check that the bracket is aligned properly and tighten both screws. Now do the same on the other side. Now thread the rod through the rod pocket of the tapestry and screw the finials into each end of the rod. If your rod has fixed finials on the ends of the rod, then thread each half of the rod through from either end of the rod pocket and ensure the rod is correctly secured in the center. Adjust the rod so that it's the desired length. If you are using tassels, ensure there is enough room to hang them on the rod once the tapestry is on the wall. Now, place the tapestry and rod onto the brackets. If your brackets have an extra screw to fix the rod into place, screw that in now. If you are using tassels, then place your tassels over the finials onto the rod. Make any final adjustments to the length of the rod or position of finials and tassels if you need to. And there you have it. 
you have now successfully hung your tapestry for you and others to enjoy. I hope you have found some tips here that will help you out when you go to hang your tapestry. Let us know if you have any comments or questions below, and if you have any tips you'd like to share, please share these as well. Here's to happy decorating. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to our channel to get more videos from us. This is Worldwide Tapestries. See you in the next presentation.